Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Emily and I'm very grateful that you're here. If you're new, welcome and if you're returning, welcome back. If you do like the video, please be sure to like it, give it a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any updates. For our yoga practice today, all you'll need is a little bit of space and a comfortable surface. Let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome. I'm so happy that you have joined for yoga today. And whether this is your very, very first time doing yoga or you've done it many times like I have, everyone is welcome. And all I ask is that you try your very best and just do what you can and don't do what you can't. It's as easy as that, okay? So today we're going to start in a seated position. So you can sit like I am if it's comfortable with your knees bent and your legs together, or if you wanna be cross-legged, you can sit cross-legged as well. Just choose whatever works best for you and just get the wiggles out. So if you wanna wiggle a little bit, just to let yourself be still, okay? If it's comfortable, close the eyes, but if it's not comfortable for you, just keep your gaze still. Find something that's not moving and focus there. We do many, many things in a day. But something that we forget sometimes is to be. So here's a little reminder for you that we are human beings, not human doings. So let's just be for a little bit at the start of our yoga today. Just letting this be a bit of a reset button for you in your day, helping you refresh and have an amazing rest of your day ahead. I'm gonna start with some breathing. I want you to take a big breath in as much as you can, and as you breathe in, let your shoulders come all the way up towards your ears as high as they can. And I want you to breathe out and just let your shoulders fall. Okay, you can kind of let it out like a sigh if you want. Let's do it again. Breathe in through your nose. Lift your shoulders all the way up to the ears and let it go. Let's do another one like that. Breathe in, lift your shoulders a little higher this time. Breathe in a little more. And release. Nice job, friends. Let your shoulders be far away from your ears now, okay? We've created a lot of space there, so let's keep that space. And next time when you breathe in, I want you to reach your arms all the way up, but keep your shoulders away from the ears. And maybe you'll even look up to your thumbs. And when you breathe out, let your hands touch, bend your elbows, and bring the thumbs towards the middle of your chest. Let's do that again. And if you like, maybe you'll even lift your hips up this time, getting a little bit taller. And breathe out, bring everything in. This is called a sun breath. Let's take one more shine like the rays of the sun, bringing warmth to someone's day. Warmth for yourself. Nice job. Now I want you to look in front of you and let your hands come down. We're gonna come into a tabletop position. So I want you to make sure you're a really strong table, okay? So table legs are straight. We're not gonna be a table like this. We're not gonna be a table like this, okay? So just check that your shoulders are right on top of your wrists and your knees are underneath your hips. I like to tuck my toes here, but you might not like to, okay? So just try whatever works best for you. Now bring your hips back to your heels. This is kind of like child's pose, but a little different. As you breathe in, I want you to round your spine like an angry cat. Bring your chin into your chest and bring your weight forward. And then as you breathe out, reverse, bring your hips back and you can kind of let your belly come down a little bit, okay? Just a little bit of movement for the back. Inhale to round, look down towards the knees even. And as you exhale, come on back. Maybe the gaze comes forward. Forward. Let's take a couple more deep breath in, really round, round, round as much as you can. And complete breath out, come all the way back. One more deepest breath you've taken so far today. Inhale all the way forward. And exhale all the way back. Now I like my toes tucked here because next from our table, we're gonna lift up to downward dog, okay? So if your toes aren't tucked, tuck them now. And then we'll lift the knees up and then send the hips up to the sky and come into this inverted V shape. 
So if you've never done a down dog before, it's okay. Just give it a shot. Make yourself into an upside down V. Try and keep your back flat. And if you want to bend your knees a little bit so that you can be more comfortable, please do that. Okay, let's just take one big breath in through the nose. And release out, exhale. Now start to walk your hands back. Take as many steps with the hands as you like. Keep a little bit of a bend to the knees and we're gonna bring the hands to meet the feet at the back of the mat, okay? Or the back of your space. Coming into what's called ragdoll, holding on to opposite elbows. I want you to be like a ragdoll, okay? Let your upper body be heavy and let your spine be rounded, let your knees bend. And then I want you to try and sway side to side. And just find a little bit of a swaying motion from the hips, letting your head hang heavy, okay? So if you're looking up at me, you don't need to right now. We're not doing anything new. Just look down towards the floor. And if you like, I want you to try rocking forward and back, okay? So you might feel a little scared because we're sending our weight off balance. We don't normally move this way when we're in a fold anyways. So try and bring your weight into your heels. Lift your toes up as high as you can. And then try and lift your heels, pushing your toes down. Just trusting yourself. And if you feel like you're gonna fall, you can catch yourself. Whoops, all right. So nothing to be afraid of, just a little exploring. Okay, let's bring the feet flat and now bring your arms down and I want you to roll up to stand. So keep rolling, keep rolling. Keep your chin in towards your chest, let your shoulders be heavy. Slow, slow, slow. And we arrive. Very nice. Now I want you to try and lift up your toes off the mat and see if you can separate them and put them down one at a time. So we're spreading our feet out a little bit wider, really feeling the mat underneath us. So sometimes yoga is just about feeling something in a different way. It's not always about getting into these weird poses, weird balances. It can be really, really simple. Bring your palms to, to face forward, and already we are in mountain pose. This is Tadasana. So think of a mountain, it's strong, it's stable, and we're really strong here with our feet, with our legs. Stand proud, beautiful mountain. Let's close the eyes, or again, just steady your gaze, look at one thing, and breathe. Now next time you breathe in, let's open the eyes and reach the arms up and overhead, bring the hands to touch each other, and then breathe out, bend the elbows, and bring the thumbs again towards your heart, like we did before. Inhale to reach the arms wide, sun breath. And exhale, bend the elbows, palms touch. See if you can push the hands towards each other. So I'm actually really working the muscles in my arms right now. So let's just stop and try that for a minute. With your palms touching one another, see if you can send the elbows a little bit up to the side and keep the shoulders away from your ears. Building muscles in your arms and your shoulders. Push the hands against each other. Push, push, push. One more breath in. And breathe out. Release the arms beside you. Nice job, yogis. Let's breathe in, reach the arms overhead. And this time when you breathe out, I want you to hold on to the left wrist with the right index finger and thumb and pull the left wrist gently over to the right side as you reach the hips, a little bit over to the left, okay? So we're breathing, deep stretch into the left side of the body. Stay here for one more breath. And then when you breathe in, let's come back through the middle and then open up the arms. This is called a swan dive. Take up lots of space and fold forward, breathe out. Walk the hands forward. Let's come back to our inverted V, downward dog. And this time we're gonna step the right foot forward to the outside of the right hand. So all the way to the top of the mat and bring the right foot a little bit to point out, okay? So if this were a clock, our toes would be pointing to two o'clock. And let's just stay here. Maybe you like to rock forward and back. Maybe you just want to be still. This is a really good practice pose for anyone who wants to learn how to do the splits or if you're working on your splits. 
This is a really good stretch and warm up for that. Okay, now let's find some stillness and bring the left knee down. We're gonna straighten the right leg to come back into a half split. So already practicing the stretch, breathing into the back of the right leg and take the right hand to the outside. So we're framing the right leg with the hands, flexing the toes towards the sky. Bring your gaze just past the toes so we're not looking down, we're not looking way up. Okay, keeping some nice length in the spine. Let's bend the right knee again, and this time we're gonna heel the right foot back onto the mat with the toes forward. Lift the left knee up and see if you can come all the way up using the strength in your legs to come up into a lunge. This is our crescent lunge pose, okay? So the right knee is bent, left leg is straight, and the arms are reaching. Think of your fingers like rays of the sun. We're shining out, not hiding away, okay? Take another breath. And then when you breathe out, start to bend the left knee and shift your weight forward. We're going to press off the left toes to bring the left knee up towards the chest. Inhale here. See if you can hold your balance as you breathe out. See if you can stand a little taller, but keep your shoulders down so we're not way up here. Just keep relaxed. <laughs> Take another breath. And breathe out, let the left foot come down beside the right, come into your mountain pose, palms forward, feet grounded, pressing down. Take a breath in, and take a breath out. As you breathe in, let's take our sun breath, reach the arms circling up. And as you breathe out, this time the hands touch and we'll bend the elbows and hinge at the hips into our forward fold. I want you to lift up halfway, bring the hands onto the shins, inhale to straighten the elbows, and then exhale, plant the palms down, you can bend the knees to step back to your downward facing dog, coming to this inverted V. Take one big breath in, and full release out. Tiptoeing the hands back to the feet, coming back to the back of the mat again. Once you're there, let's come into halfway lift, hands onto the shins, inhale, straighten the elbows, and exhale to fold. Circle the arms, sun breath to come all the way up to stand, breathe in, reach the arms, and breathe out, hands to your heart. Let's take a sun breath on the inhale, this time hold on to the right wrist with the left fingers, and on the exhale, gentle pull of the right arm over to the left and the hips to the right. And remember, you might not come as far as I am. I've been doing yoga a long time. <laughs> it takes a lot of practice. So I want you to do what you can and don't do what you can't. Let's come back through the middle. Inhale here. And on the exhale, take your swan dive. Open the arms wide and come all the way forward. Walk the hands forward. Downward facing dog. Now this time the left foot steps to the outside of the left hand, all the way to the top. And then again, maybe you'll find a little rock forward and back. Just starting to stretch into the muscles that will help us with our splits. Not doing that today, but we're gonna practice, okay? It is all part of the journey. Bring the right knee down. We're going to straighten the left leg to come into your half split and walk the hands back and to frame the left foot. So just on the, one side, or one hand on each side of the foot, that's it. And remember, looking forward, try and keep your back nice and long, straight line. And then let's bring the left foot flat and heel toe. So just wiggle the foot right back onto the mat, toes forward. Lift the right knee and then prepare to come all the way up, crescent lunge. Practicing getting stronger in the legs, reaching the arms, softening, relaxing the shoulders. Let's start to bend the right knee and be ready to press off the toes, to lift the right knee towards the chest, breathing. Now let's stay nice and strong here. So I want you to think about pushing your left foot down, reaching your fingertips. Now I want you to tell yourself, I can do this. Even if you feel 
feel wobbly, even if you feel like it's a challenge, tell yourself that you can. And very soon, the things you can't do will become things that you can do. Breathe in once more. And breathe out to come into mountain pose. Strong like a mountain. Grounded like a mountain. Pushing the feet down. Keeping your hands facing forward. Close the eyes if that feels okay or just steady. Look at one point. And breathe. Take a deep breath in. And full breath out. Let's take a sun breath, circle the arms, inhale, reach the arms up, and exhale, hands touch, and we fold all the way forward. Hands onto the shins, lifting halfway, straighten the elbows as you breathe in, and breathe out, bring the hands down, bend the knees, and we're going to come all the way down to seated, so you can just keep bending, 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 until you land down to the mat. Okay, I'm just going to turn to face you. You can just sit cross-legged or you can sit the way we sat at the beginning if you like. Okay, it's up to you. Now I want you to take your hands again into that position where we're pressing the hands nice and strong right at your heart center. And I want you to tell yourself, I am amazing and I can do amazing things. Okay, so even if it's just one new thing that you try today, even if it's something really, really small, that's amazing. Every day we learn, every day we grow and we change. And I'm so very grateful that you decided to try some yoga today. So again, whether it was your very first time or you've done it many, many times, each time is a little bit different. Now I want you to recognize and remember how amazing you are. So let's think about just one thing that we love about ourselves. Okay, and it can be something simple, or it could be something that you're working at getting better at. So maybe you love that you're a really kind friend. Or maybe you love that you're getting faster at running or getting better at a sport doesn't matter what it is. I want you to tell yourself that right now. I am amazing because. Thank you for being amazing here with me today, yogis. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.